All right, so boom, you're sitting at home, got a whole creative idea in your head, but you absolutely don't know what to do. Well, look no further. WeWantMore.com is here to save you. We got a whole bunch of new options that's on the website from video booking and photo booking. We even have a newsletter that tells you exactly what's going on in the world of We Want More. Make sure to check out the website, WeWantMore.com. Let's make your next dream come true. I bet, you know how we start this. Stop playing with me. All right, but for my new subscribers, um, what's going on? Welcome. Welcome back. It's me. Show my nah, I'm lying. Cause this is not how we started. You know how we started. Yes, what's going on with you? It's your boy Shamar Moore, aka We Want More for those that got me on social media. Today, guys, we are doing a video that has been sort of requested. Not really, but I figured that I wanted to do it. Last time I dropped this kind of video, it was a top five in my collection. And um, I looked at it recently and I'm like, mm, this wasn't really updated. A lot has come into collection since then, you know what I'm saying? So today we're actually gonna do my 10 favorite sneakers or my personal favorites that's in my collection so far. But of course, before we get into this video, you know what you gotta do. You gotta subscribe if you haven't already. Press that little red, it's a little red button. I think it's like right next to my name or right above it, somewhere along those lines. All you gotta do is click subscribe. If it turns up white, that means you're already good. But if it's red, you need to make it white. You need to make it white. Press that subscribe button and press the like for your boy. It helps the channel out tremendously so that YouTube pushes this video into outer space. You know what I'm saying? Now, before we get into this video, I do have a couple sneakers that uh, I figure were like honorable mentions. Um, they didn't necessarily make it into the top 10, but I did have to shout these out just because if one of these shoes that's in the top 10 did not exist in my collection, they would probably be beat in the top 10. What am I doing? Why is the mic still in my hand? Hold on. But yes, these two sneakers are two honorable mentions that I figured um, I should mention. Like I could not live, leave them out of this video. The first shoe would be the Air Max 97s, the blue ones. I did show this in my sneaker collection. Um, the reason why I make this a uh, honorable mention is because one, because of the color. Like, can you see? Look, look how it pops out. That's beautiful, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, but more importantly, just the Air Max in general. Um, I'm a big fan of the Air Max lineup in general. Uh, 90s, 95s, 97s, 270s, Air Max 1. Um, I just, I, I think personally that Air Maxes are like the greatest, uh, you know, lineup in Nike history. Um, so I had to include these, um, but more importantly, just the, the wait time that I waited for these, like almost like two months to get these. They're not expensive. You can still get them today. You can still cop them for like under 200 bucks. But for me, like these are like comfortable color just stands out. You could wear this with almost any outfit and you'll just, you'll turn eyes. So I had to make this one of my top honorable mentions. The second honorable mention that I'm going to include. Um, is actually the OG colorway Air Jordan 4 Fire Reds. I recently got these. These are, these are the last pair of sneakers that I copped up recently on. I have not worn them yet. They're dead stock. But the reason why I throw these in honorable mentions is because of the OG colorway. Um, I know these came out like three times before. I think like 07, I believe 2010, like the Spike Lee joints. You know, just the OG colorway and plus like fours is one of my favorite silhouettes of all time. Outside of ones, 11s, Air Maxes and maybe Yeezys. To me, these are like, they're just gorgeous. Like, look at them, bro. Like, they recently came out and they're just, ah. Oh. All right, but enough with the chitty chatter. We're gonna get into the top 10 sneakers that I have in here that I personally love and adore. Coming off at number 10 um, is actually a shocker. Um, believe it or not, but it actually is my Yeezy Desert Sage. I could tell the camera is not doing this justice. It looked kind of weirdish greenish, but this sneaker right here is is one of the most comfortable sneakers I have in my collection. I, I literally could walk miles in these shoes, and I have before. I could walk miles in this. I could walk miles back towards this. I could be on my feet for a couple hours. This shoe right here is just like, you can't go wrong with a pair of Yeezys. Currently, these are the only pair of Yeezys I have in my collection right now which kind of sucks because, you know, I kind of want more, but regardless, um, I had to put this in top 10 just cause you know, like you can't go wrong with Yeezys. Like any pair of Yeezys outside of, there's only like two Yeezys. Um, and I think one of them just came out this year. I forgot the name of it, but they were like the only two Yeezys that I didn't like. But outside of that, every other single pair of Yeezy 350 V2s, um, I, I think they pop in. I think they're fire as hell. Coming in at number, what's what's nine in, in Spanish? Numero nueve, number nine for my Spanish people. Um, you see the box already, but we are talking about 
the Toro 14s. Now I've only worn this one time. I don't know if you could tell if I worn them or not. They still look kind of dead stock, to be honest. These shoes right here, um, the reason why I put this above the Yeezys, it's not more comfortable than Yeezys. I'll tell you that. 14s to me are like bricks on your feet. And I'm pretty sure everybody could say the same thing. Um, but the reason why I put this at, over the Yeezys is because I've always been a fan of Toros, um, like the Toro 4s. And so because I couldn't get the Toro 4s, this became like my grail for the 4s. Um, to this day, the Toro 4s is still like mad expensive and I just can't find myself to buy them. And so these kind of came in replacement. Um, they're, they're, they're just gorgeous. And mind you, I won these on retail on the sneakers app and all my sneaker fans know the sneakers app is like you're going to take the most L's possible like you never going to win on there so the fact that i won on there and i think this was the first pair of sneakers that i won on the sneakers app was like this holds a special place in my heart as far as wearing them though i don't wear these a lot just because like they're bricks i feel like they gotta go with like a specific outfit for me to toss them in but i i can't find myself to wear them though Coming in at number eight um, is actually another favorite. I've only worn these a couple times too, but it's the Air Jordan 4 Raptors. Not the Drake edition where the um, emblem on top is gold, but this is the original pair that came out in 2018. I, To me, I just love the leather on it. I don't like the way it creases. Um, that's the only problem I had before is like the creasing in the front just kind of irks me, but outside of that, Jordan 4s, once again, are my favorite one of my favorite silhouettes um and to me this colorway is just it's it's sick like purple red and black like you can't go wrong with these um the only problem though is that you know it does catch dust a little quicker just because of the leather or the suede that's on these sneakers but outside of that, just the colorway the comfortability um the versatility of this sneaker is just out of this world for me and it's the reason why i put them in my top 10. <music> Coming in at number seven, y'all see the box. I know we got an Air Jordan 1 on the way. Um, it's gonna be my very first pair of Jordan 1s, which is the pine green ones. Not the 2.0s, but the 1.0s. Um, I believe that this is one of the best Jordans to ever come out outside of the Royal Toe. Outside of the Royals or the Chicago ones, they're just, you know what I'm saying? Like, they just, I had to put them in my top 10. These will always be a favorite of mine, just cause one, I've always wanted a pair of Air Jordan 1s, but we all know the story, your parents can't afford you know the top of the line sneakers and so you got to settle for less but when i finally got the money like these were the first ones that i've ever bought in my life by myself and so these will always have a special place in my heart like i think when it comes down to it like if i have to sell all my sneakers this will probably be one of the last to go um just because of you know the journey to get these and just how many times i've worn them like you could tell that they're not beat up but like you could tell they've been worn a couple times but that's the beauty of ones like you could like they just I don't know for me they just you know like the more you wear them the bigger the story behind it is so coming in at number six we have another pair of Air Jordan ones uh, huh it's snow sorry guys it's, it's snowing outside so you know I always get excited uh, but number six, we're going with the Royal Toe ones. Um, now, there's not a big, big story on these, um, except the fact that I've wanted the Royal ones for a while, but you know, obviously ones increase in price. All my sneakerheads know this. So these actually came out um, this year. Was it last year or this year? I think they came out this year, but pretty much I had to cop them. Um, I just love blue on Jordan ones. I think they're just fire. They're not as great as the Royal ones. If I had the Royal ones, these the Royals would definitely top the Royal Toes. Um, but I just I like the mixture of the black with the blue. Um, I think it's nice I think it's a great colorway and it's probably one of my favorite sneakers to wear just because of the versatility I could wear with them. Um, I don't necessarily have to wear blue. I could wear like All black I could wear white and blue. I could wear some red and these will pop out too. So um, I love these <laughs> Coming in at number five, we have my Mocha 3s. I know, I know, people, I, if you saw the sneaker collection, if you saw my top five from last time, you know that these were way higher. Um, but like I said before, the collection has increased just a tiny bit. And so with that tiny bit comes a pushback on these. 
uh well i actually scuffed them a little bit these will always be in my top five i don't i don't think anything would top i don't think any any sneaker that i get from now on would ever push these out of the five just because the storyline behind this um i explained this in my sneaker collection so if you guys want to watch that it's somewhere up here i'm gonna leave a card up here and i'll also leave it down in the description below but the story behind these me wanting them to get them for a long time and finally being able to get them so yeah these will always be in top five like i can never take them out but uh they used to be like really really up in the five but now they're like number five with that being said i mean obviously the the next four is gonna be like pretty nice you know what i'm saying but yeah uh mocha threes can't go wrong with them all right so with five down we have about five more to go or maybe it's like four one of those two but make sure to comment down below what is your top 10 or what is your favorite sneaker of all time obviously number one is going to be pretty hard to beat um, but you guys can comment down below what's your favorite out of this list or what's your favorite outside of this list that you feel would always be like the number one sneaker of all time. And once again, y'all, yo, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, so and keep watching to the end of the video. Leave a like for your boy. You know what I'm saying? It always helps the channel out tremendously. Coming in at number cuatro. Oh, yeah, I know I know Spanish, but yes, coming in at number four, we have another pair of Jordan ones. I don't know if y'all could tell, but Jordan ones are my favorite silhouette. Um, but we have my 2017 Charmillion ones. Um, these sneakers are life, bro. Like, I have not worn them too much, I think I wore them like maybe twice. But these sneakers, just look at the like that colorway is beautiful, just that emerald turning into purple. It's just gorgeous like this is gorgeous bro even the the even the ag let is the aglets look, look at the look at that sign you see that pro is it in focus there we go look at that purple and green on the aglet sign like you can't these sneakers have to be like in my top five it's probably gonna be feather in my top five just because of the colorway air jordan ones even the bottom it's a little dirty because i've worn them a like maybe twice three times but even that bottom is just is different from every other one like you cannot go wrong with these yo i i love these son, for life i waited a long time to get these and i finally had them and it's like i don't want to ruin them son but they're just they're so gorgeous oh lord <laughs> Coming in at number three, we have another pair of Jordan 1s. Um, if you didn't notice that, you know what I'm saying, Jordan 1s, again, is like my favorite silhouette. But we have my core purple ones. Oh my Lord, have mercy. Do you see? Look how far these are, bro. And personally, I think the Jordan core purple 2.0s is better than the 1.0s. Um, I think the 1.0s was a little plain. I didn't like I didn't like the black on it. I think the pine greens did a better job of like that dark um, colorway on the Jordan ones. Um, but this right here is just, whew, look at that. Look at that baby. Jeez us. These are sexy. Like, come on now. You can't go wrong with purple on anything. I, I think these are one of the best Jordan ones to ever come out outside of like the collabs, like Travis Scott and uh, J Balvin. But these right here, I, I, it's no worse for it. It's no worse. <music> All right, coming in at, at number two, you, you guys could guess what, what silhouette this is gonna be. You already know, you already know it's gonna be a Jordan 1, baby. It's over here, y'all see it, look at the box. You know what time it is. Yes, sir, we have my Obsidian UNC ones. Oh my, mm. I just kiss, oh Lord, let me kiss it again. Mm. Yes, yes, so. Listen, y'all, this shoe right here, you know what I'm saying, it comes in different uh, colors. Well, different color shoelaces. Actually, most of the Jordan ones do, uh, but just for this particular uh, color, I, I, yo, I waited for this sneaker for mad long. I remember seeing this on everybody, and I was like super jealous. Um, and then, you know, I graduated college recently, and my girl got me these. Yes, yo, like she paid a good chump of change. The fact that she got me these, like, not only is this sneaker that I've always wanted and finally got, but you know, my girl being the first person to ever like go that hard to get me a pair of sneakers is like, like these are. I said this in a video in the sneaker collection as well these these sneakers are attached to her now and so you know what i'm saying like these will forever be like one of my favorite sneakers of all time just because of that um but outside of my girlfriend you know what i'm saying like just the the colorway alone like come on bro that's that's sick that's sexy bro look at that that charlotte blue with the navy oh lord come on now you yeah y'all not on the level all right all right 
all right i know y'all been waiting y'all been waiting and y'all been patient but what's number one what is the best sneaker that i have in this collection keep in mind this was very hard to choose just because of how many sneakers i have all the stories behind them but this sneaker right here outside of every other sneaker that i've shown in the sneaker collection and in this video um i think this sneaker tops everything that i have one it cost me the most um and it's a sneaker that i think will stand forever in the test of time like this shoe right here is can't go wrong yes i know what you're thinking it's not a jordan one it is actually Bam, y'all see it? Ah, 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 ah. I'm sorry. Um, this nigga right here, man. Listen, listen, player. Listen. If you don't know, now you know. You know what I'm saying? The bread 11 Jordan 11. I said that wrong. But the Jordan 11 bread. Oh Jesus! I think this is the best Jordan 11 of all time. A lot of people will argue Space Jams. A lot of people will argue Concords. Even some people would would go above and beyond. I think they a little foolish, but to say the Jubilee 25th anniversaries, no. I think the Bread 11s right here, this sneaker right here is forever the greatest sneaker of all time, the greatest 11s of all time, and the greatest Jordans of all time. Outside of 1s and 4s, 11s happen to be one of my favorite silhouettes as well. Just look at the black, look at the gloss on the bottom, look at the red bottom. I mean, damn, like, you can't go wrong with these plays. Like, you, oh, yes, this is sexy. This right, this sneaker right here, man, listen. Y'all not on my level, player. All right. All right, so to close this video out, first, I want to say thank you, um, of course, to God, but thank you to myself, you know what I'm saying, for being able to get all these sneakers. Obviously, this collection and this video will repeat next year when the collection grows larger and more sneakers come through. Um, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave me a like. Make sure to leave a like on the video, son. Leave a thumbs up on the video. Make sure, once again, to subscribe to the channel so that you could become part of the gang. You know what I'm saying? Come part of the game. You know what I'm saying? But until then, guys, y'all can go ahead and follow me on the gram and Twitter. Make sure to share with your family and friends so that the channel can grow larger. We can do some giveaways. We can do a lot of stuff here. Also, I noticed the subscribe account is getting close to a thousand. Make sure to subscribe. Keep hitting the subscribe button. Much appreciated. I thank you guys sincerely from the bottom of my heart. But until then, guys, I'm out of here. I will see you in the next video. Peace.